Did you know that the Met Office is home to the National Meteorological Library and Archive, known by some as the National Memory of Weather? We are required by law to keep accurate records of weather data. Behind me is the library, where we have hundreds of books. It's a public library. You do have to book a slot, but you can come here, borrow the books, look at our extensive range of e-books and e-journals. And we also have displays reflecting the history of the Met Office. Let's go take a look. We're currently standing in the National Meteorological Library. Um, I'm the archivist and my role is to look after all of our historic collections. So that's all of our um, observations since the Met Office was founded in 1854, various of our instruments, some of which you can see around you now. What we call the national memory of the weather. So you talk about this being the national memory of the weather. What, what do you mean by that? Okay, so um, we were founded in 1854 and since then we've been collecting observations and those observations inform both our climatology, our research into, into climate um, and our forecasts um, and they're all public records so we look after them as part of the Public Records Act so that's part of our national memory of the weather because they have to be looked after and made available um, and at the same time we've also got a load of other things that sort of sit around that core collection so we've got private weather diaries that take us back before the founding of the office We've got international data that helps to put that UK data into context. And we've also got collections of rare books and subject specialist books, some of which you can see behind me. And some of those are really rare items, so they're kept in the archive. Quite a lot of other things, including our e-book collection, are available for loan. So staff can come in and look at them 24-7. Um, members of the public would need to book to come and see things. Or you can access things through our electronic collections as well, wherever you are. You can learn more about the National Meteorological Library and Archive, including how to access our collections and how to visit at our web pages, or by emailing us at metlib at metoffice.gov.uk. And don't forget, there are lots of images and documents to explore right now at the Digital Library and Archive.